So let's talk about some examples of group homomorphisms. The first example we'll talk about is uh, the determinant. So the determinant will be a homomorphism from uh, GLN, let's say, of R to, uh, and it'll be to R cross the, the group, the multiplicative group of R with multiplication as the, as the, um, as the operation. And so the, the reason this is, so this is a, you know, this is a, you know, it's a function, it's a map. And um, to show that it's a homomorphism, we would have to say that uh, the determinant of matrix A times the matrix B is equal to the determinant of a matrix A times the determinant of a matrix B. And this is a linear algebra fact, um, which, uh, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description for, um, if you're interested. So another example, so let's, let's talk about the sign uh, of a permutation. So the sign is going to take our group of permutations Sn, and it's going to go to the group uh, plus or minus 1. And so the way that this map is going to work is it's going to be, um, it's going to take, uh, so the way this will work is sigma goes to 1 if sigma is an even permutation, and sigma goes to uh, minus 1 if sigma is an odd permutation, and right, so this is for sigma in Sn, say, and so this map is well defined because of the theorem that you know, every permutation is either even or odd. Um, and why is this a homomorphism? Well, what does it mean for a permutation to be even, right? Well, what it means for a permutation to be even is there's this, this cycle can be written as an even number of two cycles. So if we have a, so if we have, say, something that has a, um, an even number of two cycles, so that would be sigma, and then we have another, um, so sigma is, a, is, you know, a product of alpha 1 to alpha the 2n, uh, two cycles, and then tau is a product of, you know, beta 1 to beta to the 2n plus 1, let's say beta is odd, um, or tau, tau is odd, there's an odd number of two cycles, then sigma tau uh, will have be a product of, well, what will it be a product of? It'll be a product of um, 2n plus 2n plus 1, uh, two cycles, which will be, well, I guess, okay. I mean, I have, I'm using the same n here and here, and I don't need to. So maybe I should make this be an m. And I'll make this be an m. So this is 2m. But so either way, this is going to be odd. And sure enough, 1 times minus 1 is odd. And you'll see this really, really what this, this follows from is, you know, addition rules for odd and even numbers, right? Odd plus odd is going to be even. Um, so minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Um, even plus odd is odd. And even plus even is even. Um, so that's the sign homomorphism. Uh, so that's a sign morphism. Yep. And then here's another morphism. E to the x, uh, which is also called exp. That's a fancy way of writing, fancy way of saying e to the x. Um, and e to the x is going to go from r uh, with the plus. Um, so maybe I'll write it like this, r plus. 
So that's R with the addition as its operator to R cross. Um, and so, so yeah, I'll write it with the parentheses here just to not confuse us with the positive real numbers, which is what R upper plus will, will mean sometimes. But, and so why is this a homomorphism? It's because e to the a plus b equals e to the a, e to the b. So raising by e gives you homomorphism from the additive group to the multiplicative group. Um, OK, another example is the power map. So what's the, what's the power map? So I can take from the group of z, um, the additive group of integers, to any group g. Um, and the way that I'll, I'll, I'll write the power map is um, may, maybe I should write it with a subscript. Um, pow x. So where x uh, is some element of g, um, maybe I should use y. I have some crosses over here, just for confusion sake. So y, y in g, and so the idea is um, pow y of n is equal to y to the n. Right? So I just, um, any for any element of a group, I can make a homomorphism from z to all possible powers of that element in the group. Um, so that's also an example of a morphism. Um, and then maybe, maybe another example is inclusion. So inclusion from a subgroup H into a group G. Where H is a subgroup of G. Right, I guess I guess I can write this um, notation with the triangle here. H is a subgroup of G, um, and this will also be, you know, a morphism. Um, right? So to verify this was, to verify that it was a morphism, all I had to verify was that you know, after applying the map, um, multiplication, you know, the, the multiplication gets respected, but that's kind of automatic from the fact that this is a subgroup. And um, it's also kind of automatic in the, in the case of the, the power map. Okay, so there's one more example um, that I'll, I'll even give its own page. This is the example of conjugation. So conjugation by y um, from g to g. So let's say y is an element of g. Um, and conjugation is, so the element g maps to y times g times y inverse. So what's the idea here? We multiply by y, then we apply g, then we apply the inverse. Um, and so this, this is going to be a homomorphism because, well, so let's see. Let's take um, a and b in g. g, and we need to see that conj y of a times b equals conj y of a times conj y of b. And so if we expand this side's definitions, what we'll get is y a y inverse y times y b y inverse. And then ma quite magically, these inside y's will cancel. We'll have a y inverse times a y. Um, because we have that y inverse times that y, that means we'll get y times a times b times y inverse. 
um, which if we expand, you know, the definition of this side is exactly y times a times b times y inverse is exactly 